Temple OS is probably the strangest operating system ever made. If you don't know what Temple OS is, let me explain. It was built by Terry Davis, completely from scratch. Literally everything in the operating system was coded by him and only him, with over 100,000 codes of line written. Sadly, Terry's mental state wasn't the best. For example, he was convinced that the government was trying to stop him. He also believed that God wanted him to build this operating system, hence the name Temple OS. His whole life and story have become quite big memes, but I wanted to try out Temple OS for myself to see what it really is about. Ok, so here we are in Temple OS, and automatically it reminds me very much of Windows 2 and 3. I have a video where I try out every Windows version, so check that out if you are interested. But it definitely does have some similarities to other Windows, and it looks very old, but what can you expect when it's made by a single person? So first we have to complete this setup or whatever. So we are going to press yes. I am using VirtualBox right now, so let's press yes again. And now it's just downloading some things and we have to wait a few seconds. Now we don't want to reboot because for some reason that breaks it for me and I don't think we need it or. So you can move windows around, but I don't think you can resize them. It's a bit annoying. Alright, so here we have an empty terminal that I just opened and it seems like we can insert some things. What are text widgets? Okay, I don't understand what's happening here, so I'm just gonna close it. Let's insert a good word, variety. That is a nice word. <laughs> Adultery, settled. It seems like it's just a random word generator, except it takes words that are slightly connected to Christianity. Let's look at the good Bible passage, Leviticus 15 12. Don't really know what this passage is about, but there is some kind of cleansing. God's song. Will it play a song for us? I don't hear anything, and I can't figure out if I have to press something. Oop, my screen froze. Whenever I go into the VM, my screen just freezes, so I have to restart it. Okay, so we have everything set up again, and I don't think we will be trying the song again. What's a god doodle at least? Oh, that's interesting. If you just hold space, it makes a painting. I actually like that, and I think I found a way to record. It's not really working, it seems, but maybe I'm just dumb. I can't really press record or any other of the buttons. Okay, so I think that's most of the interesting things you can do here, but I know there is one more thing which I'm very excited about, and that is games. I've seen some videos of him playing his games, and and to be honest, they don't look the best, but they do look unique. And he also made the engine for these games, which is impressive. The only problem is that I can't find where they are, so I'm just gonna Google it. How to play games in Temple OS. I was looking around and I stumbled upon this. VirtualBox doesn't seem to support audio, it seems, which might be the reason for it dying when I messed around with the God song or whatever that was. Okay, so apparently I have to press Ctrl M to open up a menu where the games will be shown. Copy this file to your home directory. Something is off. Oh, it's working. So we have fun games on fun games code scraps and non-games. I didn't expect there to be this many. Honestly, I was expecting like five, but this is a lot more, so let's try some of them. Let's play Varum. It seems like it's a racing game, and I guess the name makes sense now. Just, I don't know how to move. Oh, it's with arrow keys. That makes sense. But why am I so slow? Oh, we are speeding up and we are drifting. We even hit a 360. Yet. I can't stop though. I'm trying to slow down, but I can't. What if I just don't press anything and we are still spinning? Okay, that's enough. I mean, the car is impossible to handle, it seems. When Salasas? I ain't reading all that. Okay, so what am I supposed to do. I can move. Facing peasants 10. I think I'm supposed to help them get in the house, but I don't know how. Probably shouldn't have skipped over all the text. Next we have some unfun games, like Castle Frankenstein. What? Huh? Why am I so fast for no reason? And the input delay makes it even more fun. What is this? Is that a plant? Can I, can I interact with it? Oh, wait. wait. Did I just kill that guy? I thought something might happen if I press space, but I think I shot him. Well, that's not very Christian. Is that water? Pow. This is kind of like Doom, no? Alright, that was the best game so far, I would say. Let's try Dungen. Is this the same game, just in 2D? I'm just saying that because of the water in this room. But I can't really hurt anybody, it seems. Let's see some big guns. Oh, you can just shoot artillery. Can I shoot myself? No. Boring. Next game. Let's try budget. It doesn't open up. Okay. I think that's enough gaming for now. What else can I do here? I don't want to miss anything interesting. Let's go to the home page. The people who can benefit are professionals doing projects, teenagers doing projects, and old people doing projects. That's just a complicated way of saying everyone can benefit. But I think sadly that's all I can really do. But if I did miss something interesting, comment it down below please. Overall, even though it is impressive how much progress Terry Davis made on Temple OS, the operating system isn't anything special. Again, Terry Davis was an amazing programmer, not that amazing of a person, but still Temple OS is quite poor quality. Anyways, thanks for sticking around and goodbye Temple OS.